Oh, it's so nasty. What what's going on? I guess you're wondering why I've called you all here today. That's actually my dad's line. He goes into elevators at work and even if he doesn't know the people that are on it, he says, well, I'm wondering, I guess you're wondering why I've called you all here today. And then he always says something crazy like, I've decided to become a woman or who knows. Um, anyway, we, as you can see, are headed somewhere. We are going home to Victoria this weekend for a wedding for a very good friend of mine that I grew up in church with. So Robbie's still at work. I got off a little bit early. I'm gonna go pick him up and we're gonna head to Victoria. So as you can tell, I'm now driving both Robbie and I because he's holding the camera. Um, we just left little bitty tiny Martindale. Actually, we're barely in Martindale still, but that's okay. And then we're on the way home. Talk to my parents and mom's making taco bowls for dinner. So that should be fun. Shiner, we need to have a talk. We're not gonna be chasing, chasing livestock this time, right? <laughs> he licks his lips. Crazy dog. We're listening to my 90s, 2000s, and today radio, but I really just love the like 90s music that's on it. <laughs> But the 90s music, when you put in like 90s station, it's not like this kind of music. It's all like Britney Spears and NSYNC, which I love them, but I want more of like Sugar Ray and Third Eye Blind, stuff like that. So. Oh, it's so nasty. What, what's going on? Robbie farted. No, I did not. <laughs> Shiner farted and dog farts. Oh my gosh, if you've never smelled a dog's fart, consider yourself very lucky. They stink, and I don't know what he ate besides dog food, but dear gracious alive. Well, he did have a bunch of dog food last night for dinner. Oh my oh. gosh, that the worst. Why'd you have to do that? <laughs> He's like, what? The funny thing would be if that was not Shiner and it was Louise that that came out of, because that could pack a punch. That could probably choke a miniature donkey. It was disgusting. I don't know, it was pretty bad, but that definitely had Shiner, uh, that smelled like Shiner. You know the difference? Well, I mean, I had to pick up his poop every day. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I want to tell him a joke, okay. <clears throat> I'll tell it to Robbie, which I'll obviously hear it. Robbie's actually already heard it though, so. Robbie, when does a joke become a dad joke? I don't know, when? When it becomes a parent. <laughs> ha, ha, ha. We are home. We've been home for a little while now. Mom made delicious taco bowls for dinner. Um, Robbie is currently doing homework. And we're watching live PD as we do every weekend. And now we're watching the Rangers play. I have been watching the Rangers since before I was born. My parents used to go to the baseball game because they lived in Burleson, which is near Arlington. That's where I was born. But um, so they would go to the Ranger games and my mom, they didn't find out what I was until the day I was born. Because they thought it would be a really cool surprise. So mom was thinking about what would happen when I got older and if I was a boy, I'd be sitting there learning the rules of baseball with my dad and learning about the sport. But if I was a girl, then I'd be sitting there with the binoculars looking at all the baseball players' butts, like my mom used to do. So, obviously I'm a girl. But we didn't get to go to games very much anymore because we moved when I was about six months old, so. We are spending the night at my grandparents' house, and so we'll go over there and head to bed, because it's like only almost nine o'clock, but we're all exhausted. It's been a long week. Well, we're at my grandparents' house. I've showered, Robbie has taken his shower, and I'm gonna go watch TV back in the bedroom. 
and then um, maybe I'll be awake when Robbie goes to bed. I don't know. Robbie's doing homework. Yay. But pretty soon he won't have to worry about that anymore. He's about to graduate, so we can like he doesn't have to worry about homework as much. Well, maybe for the summer because he is going to try for grad school. But anyway, um, so I'm going to go and sit back in the bedroom and like watch some TV. Maybe I'm going to try to stay awake until Robbie gets done, but I don't know. I'm so tired. I know he's really tired too, so I hope he finishes soon. But I'm guessing we will see you in the morning. Do you want to go bye bye? Shiner, do you want to go bye bye? Do you want to go bye bye? Do you want to go bye bye? Do you? You do? Shiner. Sit, Shiner. Good boy. Good boy. Good morning, everyone. It's Saturday. Um, we are going to head back over to my parents' house. We have a couple things we want to do this morning. Mom got breakfast. Um, my sister should be coming into town soon, too, and that'll be really awesome. She was actually at her formal for her sorority last night, and then she's going to come into town, and she and Blaine are going to go to prom tonight. So she's just going to be all, like, fancy schmancied out. I'm really excited for this wedding, though. Like, I'm so excited. It's going to be so much fun. So we were out here fixing this crap because my dad's dogs dig. But Maggie was over here in this hole and she started to move something and it's hard to move and I just felt freaked out. There's a tiny little snake, but snake is a snake in my eyes. And I don't, uh-uh, dad don't, no! Oh God. Which one you get it moving? <sighs> Gross. Yeah, he's over there now. He's right up here. Yuck. He's gonna bite, he's gonna strike. Uh -huh. Okay, that's good. Get it, Maggie. Did you get the snack? Did you get the snack? Mom and I snuck away for a little bit. Maddie and Blaine just got there. We already need to get away from them. Just kidding. Mom has to, we have to get some stuff for the wedding, like a wedding card and things, and my sister needs some spanks, so. <laughs> what? Why are you laughing? <laughs> that's what it is. It's better than saying Maddie needs some something to make her look, I don't know, thinner. She's not smoother. Smoother. If you've seen Maddie, which you probably have, she's very thin, so it's just smoothing things out, I guess. I don't know. Oh man. He's We're trying to, trying to see this. He's a Batmobile. <laughs> Mom's following it. Now's your chance, Mom. You can't have, you can't change lanes at the intersection. Would it be weird if you saw me videoing his car? Wow, it has spiders all over it. Oh crap. Oh god! <laughs> he totally turned right as I had the camera on him. He probably thinks, what a weirdo. Okay, we'll change. Yeah, good idea. Let's change lanes. It's okay. That kind of thing happens all the time. You just can't be conscious about it. Right? No, you, you can't be conscious about it. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Anyway. You drive around with those things on your car. You, you're not a very conscious Exactly. Person. Exactly. You're asking for it. You're asking to be vlogged. We vlog the extraordinary on this channel. I'm here to see inmate 382B. You have five minutes. You got a visitor. Get back. Get back. Sit. Shiner, what did you get yourself into? Mud. Lots of you mud. You are covered in mud. I hope you had a good time playing with Moses in the mud. Your feet are covered. Your nose is covered. Everything's covered. Do you feel good about what you did? Guess so. <laughs> he kind of thinks he's in trouble. Are you in trouble? You should not be have been playing with mud. So Robbie's gonna give him a quick bath and then I'm gonna do an order with a client, but good girl. Oh, he went and got it himself. <laughs> now he's really in uh, solitary confinement. <laughs> All right, good luck, my friend. Good luck. Thanks, I'm gonna need it. Three hours later. The wedding was really beautiful. It was outside um, and it stopped like really hard raining. It was just kind of sprinkling. So they still got to do it outside, which I think is good. People sometimes give other people slack because they choose to have a wedding outside if it's raining or whatever or if it's sprinkling. But I will continue to say that a bride plans out her wedding for her entire life and especially the year up to her wedding. So a couple sprinkles aren't gonna hurt anybody. And she got to have her wedding outside, and it was really good. I really liked the music that they played, though. It was really kind of 
it was kind of trendy and cool. So it was really pretty and I'm really happy for the couple. Maddie and Blaine are going to Blaine's senior prom. Okay, Maddie, um, tell us about your outfit. This is a This is the dress that was that we the last a couple of vlogs ago. It was from Prom Girl. It's very nice. Thank you. Earrings? Claire's. Bracelet. Claire's. Ring? Claire's. Other ring? Bling. Necklace? Forever 21. Man, girl. How much would you say that this whole look cost? 120. <gasps> what a steal. It really was. occasion in the Gabbard household. Why it's a special, special occasion, I really don't know, but um, we are going to get ice cream for mom, dad, me, and Robbie. Now I know what you're probably thinking, Mallory, what about program? So one of the biggest things that we talk about in program is, um, well one of the biggest things you learn is how to indulge without completely derailing yourself. So I've been on program for seven months now. Um, it's okay to every once in a while indulge and have a meal or something that's not completely on program. Um, I even tell that to my clients. If they, we call it falling off the wagon, I don't call it falling off the wagon. You indulge, it's okay, just get right back up and get back on it tomorrow. So anyway, um, because if it were cheating, you'd have to call it a diet. It's not a diet, it's a lifestyle change where we learn how to adapt. I've done a lot of work to lose the weight and it's okay to have a little celebratory ice cream or a piece of cake or whatever it may be every once in a while. So that's what we're going to do. We're gonna find some good flavors. So this is the like, everybody has a marble slab I think and as they should, they have the creamiest ice cream I think. I love marble slab. My mom and sister and I used to come here every single first day of school and get like a celebratory ice cream. And Matt and I always used to get the same thing. And I still get that to this day. I get strawberry ice cream with gummy bears and a sprinkle cone. I don't know if I'll get the sprinkle cone tonight, but that's what we used to always get, so. Robbie, what are you gonna get? Uh, you're in the dark. Uh, ice cream. What kind of ice cream? Good ice cream. What kind of good ice cream? I don't know. He usually decide. gets mint, right? Yeah, I don't know, I'll see. We better go inside, it's starting to get really rainy. Yeah. Okay. Ice cream night at the Gabbards. Dad got Swiss chocolate, mom got cinnamon, Robbie got Swiss chocolate with Oreos and M&Ms. I got regular chocolate. Oh, excuse me, regular chocolate. Chocolate. <laughs> and I got, like like I was saying, strawberry with um, gummy bears and a sprinkle cone, but I only got a small, so. I mean, that doesn't account to anything because it's still ice cream, but whatever. And in fact, when I was getting my ice cream, I told the guy what I wanted, he's like, that sounds like a kid's order. And I said, actually, that's mine, so. There was a little girl right next to me who wanted strawberry and she ended up getting strawberry with M&M's, I think, but she was super cute. Right, Robbie? Who? This little girl that was next to me. Uh, what little girl? There was a little girl next to me. She was really cute. Anyway, we're gonna have our ice cream. This is the part of the vlog where we say goodnight. Goodnight. Thank you guys so much for watching. I am gonna end it here just because we have so much footage for Friday and Saturday and tomorrow is basically just gonna be us driving home. So thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you next time. We love you all and God bless you.